Today the plan is to mount some silicone uh, heat heat pad inside here, inside the motor of the Tongsheng TSDZ2. So I thought I would make a video of it, dissembling and so on. Starting by removing, since I have to get this on and uh, I have to remove the crank arm. I think you have to do it this way. But it's the first time I'm doing it. Very easy to work on so far. Very easy. put some pieces here all over the place get the controller in the back there so I'm using some acetone some chemically clean to, in case it's dirty I don't know not too much I ordered from uh, AliExpress I believe or maybe what's Wish and I have to cut this is two millimeter thick it's 10 by 10 centimeters and two millimeter thick so I'm gonna cut it with a scissor or something like that into small pieces and uh, try to apply them <clears throat> or I just might go wild and put a whole part here yeah, might do that. Try that first. So I started cutting this piece. And uh, it's glue on both sides, so... I think I'll do something like this. I continue doing this and I'll show you the halfway maybe. So they keep falling off. And I keep putting him back. So the glue is not that great. Yeah. So it's pretty easy to cut it. Yeah, something like that. So it's a bit tricky. This will definitely keep falling off. So Let's see if I can pull this back. Oh, probably not without destroying it again. But it was pretty easy. I just so two millimeters, and I can feel that it's pretty tight. So yeah, just put everything back again. I continue doing this. Yeah, we got this washer here for the. If you had a 73 millimeter, I believe. I don't know 
and we put them on the other side. I have a, a this is 68 millimeter bottom bracket. These are so small, so I don't pull pull them very hard. Yeah, I feel like I'm forgetting something, right? Yeah, I'm forgetting the forgetting, of course. This is what I'm forgetting. A bit tight with all the cables. Okay, so that's it. Hope you got something out of it. UTSD said lovers, two lovers there. Bye bye.